Welcome to rehabrunning.co.uk, getting you back on the road after injury. Here we're measuring forefoot valgus with a patient lying prone. So um, to start with, what we need to do is put the patient into a neutral, uh, neutral pelvis position. And so we're going to um, adopt a figure of four position there. Um, and that helps to sort of neutralize uh, the rotation that's going on to some extent um, within the limb. And then we're going to be looking down here and we're going to come on to the, uh, the metatarsal heads. And we're coming on to in particular the fourth and fifth metatarsal head with our thumb. And we're going to um, apply a pressure so that then the rear foot comes into a neutral alignment. So you can see how there it's starting off relatively supinated, the rear foot. And just by applying that pressure there, it, it, it engages the subtalar joint um, with the tib fib. And with that rear foot engaged, you can see in this example there that the angle of the rear foot to the forefoot is a small degree of of valgus or the forefoot is in a slight degree of valgus relative to the rear foot it's a more accurate way of putting it and um, and they they talk about how you can quantify that using sort of goniometry but um, uh, there's there's been much speculation as to whether that's actually a reliable or accurate measure so uh, with this patient we can um, compare sort of left to right adopting the same position here again so we've got less forefoot valgus on the right than we saw on the left.